Hey everybody, it is Rev1 and Lemmacy. And we have a quick little video for you today. We have uh, two mystery boxes from the company Chrono Toys. This was their limited time event, Chrono Toys Monthly High Roller Mystery Box. These were $20 a piece shipped, so that was pretty cool. Um, so this is what it says, I'm reading it right from the screen here. Chrono Toys Monthly High Roller Mystery Box, June edition. Each box contains one exclusive Chase Pop, no commons, limit two per customers, no exceptions. We got two. Uh, so the top prizes in here was the DC Batman Pink Chrome limited edition of 1,500 pieces, New York Comic Con exclusive. Uh, add icons, the Tony the Tiger Flot limited edition of 2,000 Funko Shop exclusive. The Goonies Sloth Superman shirt, San Diego San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Disney Mayor Vaulted and WWE Rey Mysterio San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Um, does not feel like either of these are in a pop shield protector which I would think by sending these out, they would be. Uh, so I'm not thinking we got any of those, but I'm thinking that, you know, since it's no commons, we should have gotten two chases. Um, could be the the chalice collectible ones that a lot of people are pulling. Um, but what happens if we do get a common though? We won't because it's, it's they told us we're not going to. So there wouldn't be a chance of us getting that. But there's a lot of there's a lot of possibility you're gonna get like one of those those chalice collectible ones if you've watched any other unboxing videos out there. They're very common right now, like the DBZ ones. Um, we've actually pulled that like Vegeta powering up. We pulled a couple of times out of these same boxes and like the Super Saiyan Vegeta, the PX exclusive. I'm looking at it right down here. I have them. Um, so it's possible we're gonna get those. But you know we'll see what they are and then we'll see what the PPG value is and we'll let you know if we made a good purchase or a bad purchase. But I'm hopeful. Now with being no commons in here and there's just exclusives and chases that hopefully we got some some decent pops in here. I'm gonna, Are we gonna try look? not to look. No. I'm all done. Alright, this one is not in a pop projector. Yeah. Did you look? Mm. Did you look at? Mm. Not in a pop projector. I'll show you guys in three, two, one. Ooh, it's Star Wars. It is the Mandalorian. Well, that's cool. The Mandalorian Flame Throwing Special Edition. That's pretty cool. Um, it's a brand new one. I think this actually has pretty decent value right now. But we'll look up and see. The box has a slight bend on it right here, so it's not in perfect condition. Not sure if the, it's gonna pick it up there. It's raised a little bit right here. I can feel like the crease in the box here. Yeah, if you just feel straight right down, you can feel it. Oh yeah. You feel that? Yeah, so the box has a little bit of a crease. The cool thing about this one, though, is I'll keep that one because I'm a Mandalorian fan and I want to, I want to get that one anyway, so pretty cool. You want to get a lot of pops and then uh, it's just there. I do. And right now we're running out of room for pops. I'm actually not sure where I'm going with the pops because we have a you know ton where you of can them. Put them. Not in here. <laughs> I was going to say in here. It's not going to go in here. All right, so let's try to do this one completely blind without looking. Not in a pop protector. Yeah. Not looking at all. You have your eyes closed. Yeah, I don't like looking. Mm. Okay, let me see if I can feel this. There's a sticker. So this is uh, the top. This is the bottom. Three, two, one. Oh, we got an office pop. That's awesome. We got Stanley Hudson. Is this Pretzel Day Stanley? It is Pretzel Day Stanley. That's pretty cool. Pretzel Day Stanley. It's Stanley's favorite day of the year is Pretzel Day. Yeah, that's actually cool. I actually collect all the office pops. So this was actually, for me personally, this is a really good, really good hit. I got two pops that I've been wanting and I actually will get, I will keep. So let us find out, let us, let, let us find out what these are worth. We'll be right back with pop number one. All right, guys. So we are back with pop number one and the Mandalorian flamethrowing PPG value of $34. That's pretty awesome. That's a good hit. So, I mean, we paid 40 for the two of these. We're already up to 34. So, so long as Stanley Hudson Pretzel Day is worth more than six bucks, we had a good, good pull, which I know he is. So, we'll be right back and we'll let you know what this one's worth. Wow. All right, guys. And we are back. Stanley Hudson with Pretzel. Right now, PPG value of $19. He's a GameStop exclusive. So, that's pretty awesome. So we got two pops here. We paid $40 for them. We have a PPG value of 
34 and 19 is 53 dollars so we came out 13 dollars ahead um i'm not going to sell either of these two they're going right in my collection and going into pop protectors and going up into my wall so pretty sweet what'd you think yeah i like these i actually almost like this better than the weekly mystery ones because the weekly ones from Kona toys you can get common pops this one you're getting just you know, I'd rather pay the, those are $15 a piece. These are 20, I'd rather pay the extra five and be guaranteed to get something of better value. Nine. So, I mean, theoretically, if you look, one was worth $14 more than what you paid, one was worth a dollar less, but it's still a very good pull, so I'm very happy. My, with it. my favorite is the Mandalorian. You like the Mandalorian one? Cool. All right, so guys, thanks for checking out this quick, quick video. We appreciate it. And as always, do the thing. Like, subscribe, Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Awesome. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you checking us out, and stay safe out there.